We live inside a huge star system, or galaxy, known as the Milky Way. Seen from the outside, the Milky Way is a gigantic spiral consisting of a central hub embraced by long arms. The whole system slowly rotates. Between the stars, there are vast amounts of dust and gas that we can see, and some unknown material called dark matter that remains invisible to us. Far from the centre, out in one of the spiral arms, the suburbs of the Milky Way, there's a tiny star system, our home, the solar system. When we look up on a clear night, we can see about 5,000 of the closest stars. Our eyes struggle to see beyond a thousand light years because of the dust that blankets space and dims the distant starlight. So without a telescope, we can only see a minute portion of the entire 100,000 light year wide Milky Way. For the Milky Way contains several hundred billion stars many like our own sun, although several hundred thousand million is an almost unfathomable number. It is only the beginning. Astronomers believe there are more than a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. How many stars would that be? In a handful of sand, there can easily be 50,000 individual grains. Our Milky Way contains so many stars, there can scarcely be enough grains of sand on a whole beach. There are so many galaxies containing so many stars in the universe that we would have to count every grain of sand on every beach on the whole Earth in order even to come close to the right number, and then there would be more stars in the universe. Let's take this grain of sand, a millimetre across, and place it here to represent the Sun. If we were to start walking towards the nearest star, it would take us the best part of a day to get there. We'd have to travel something like 30 kilometers. So galaxies are mostly large collections of emptiness. If we could squeeze together all the stars in the Milky Way, they would easily fit into the volume of space between our sun and the nearest star. In fact, to completely fill that volume, we would have to pack in all the stars from all the galaxies in the entire universe. When looking at the night sky, the universe seems motionless. This is because our lifespans are nothing but brief drops in the universal ocean of time. In fact, the universe is in constant motion, but we would need to watch for vastly longer than a lifetime to perceive that motion in the night sky. Given enough time, we would see stars and galaxies move. Stars orbit the center of the Milky Way and galaxies are pulled together by each other's gravity. Sometimes they even collide. Hubble has observed numerous galaxies crashing together. Like majestic ships in the grandest night, galaxies can slip ever closer 
until their mutual gravitational interaction begins to mold them into intricate figures that are finally and irreversibly woven together. It is an immense cosmic dance choreographed by gravity. When two galaxies collide, it's not like a car crash or two billiard balls hitting each other. It is more like interlocking your fingers. Most of the stars in the galaxy will pass unharmed through the collision. At worst, gravity will fling them out along with dust and gas to create long streamers that stretch a hundred thousand light years or more. The two galaxies trapped in their deadly gravitational embrace will continue to orbit each other ripping out more gas and stars to add to the tails. Eventually, hundreds of millions of years from now, the two galaxies will settle into a single combined galaxy. It is believed that many present-day galaxies, including the Milky Way, were assembled from such a coalescence of smaller galaxies occurring over billions of years. Triggered by the colossal and violent interaction between the galaxies, Stars form from large clouds of gas in firework bursts, creating brilliant blue star clusters. Our own Milky Way is on a collision course with the nearest large galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. They are approaching each other at almost 500,000 kilometers per hour and in three billion years will collide head on. The direct collision will lead to a magnificent merger between the two galaxies, during which the Milky Way will no longer be the spiral galaxy we are familiar with. Instead, it will evolve into a huge elliptical galaxy containing all of its own stars and all of those of the Andromeda galaxy too. Seen from the Earth, the collision will look something like this. Although this will not happen for a very long time, there are other dark forces of nature in play everywhere around us, even as we speak.